Last time on Cinematic Jesse. The topic isn't an easy one, especially for parents who have lost an incredible son. I nervously hit play, and the gravity of what I was showing sunk in and I began to cry. In the end, we sat in silence, silently sobbing. Joe's mom turned to me and smiled, and we hugged, and I felt much lighter. What's going on, everybody? Jesse Prince Jr., or you know me as Cinematic Jesse. I'm back. It's good to see every single one of you. I hope every one of you have been well. Hope your dreams are coming true. I uh, hope life is treating you good. As for me, where I've been, uh, a lot of you know that I've been working on, let's see if that'll focus, uh, my film, They Still Linger. Uh, it is on hold for now. Ooh. We did start it. I posted a little while ago, I think it was like a week or two, maybe more. <laughs> Anyways, we were starting production and Texas started getting hit with storms like Dude, left and right. Did a little bit of damage to my home uh, as far as like the roof goes. And um, I've been getting those fixed. Fence got knocked down. And that was actually, there's one part of the film where we're going to be shooting that was a shed scene. It's a little spooky part, <laughs> but uh, fence got knocked down. Um, the heat started rising pretty bad this summer. It's not that bad, but we've had other things go on with like schedule conflicts and just, um, you know, I'm still trying to raise money for the film. But for now, we have decided as a, as a collective group to put a hold on it. And we're not going to start filming until fall time, October, which is actually great because um, I originally wrote it yeah. for October. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to we're going to start in October time. See those leaves fall for like that nice B roll and. You know, it's just gonna look, it's gonna look really awesome. It's gonna look really good for the film. I promise you guys, I'm still working on it. I just put a pin in it, but we're not gonna stop there. I am gonna be creating some cinematic shorts, um, short films. Um, so that's what we're gonna be doing. I actually have one in the chamber right now. I'm writing one and uh, I'm just polishing up the, um, you know, I'm just polishing up the story a little bit. Now, these are going to be like between two and five minute long shorts. Um, I haven't written any comedy. I've been thinking about it, but my forte is like a uh, thriller or things like that. So that's what I want to do. And I'll be posting those or shooting those and then posting those on here exclusively on YouTube and my Patreon, which I have... <laughs> I apologize. I've been lacking so bad. I've just been dealing with a lot as far as like life goes. Um, I'm staying afloat. I'm doing better. And I'm just really excited to be back here. And I was also going to say that this is going to give me some time with you guys to finally chip away at these playlists, reaction playlists that you have specifically you know, you guys have specifically given me lists to go down and I've been trying my best, but I need to try harder. We have 5,000 subscribers now, which is insane. And I couldn't be more happier. I, I woke up one day and um, I hadn't been checking my YouTube channel. And I promise I probably gained like, uh, I think it was like close to to 300 the last time I had posted a video and it's been a minute since I posted which was really surprising to me so I guess the YouTube gods are blessing me and uh, as well as you guys 
you've been going to the channel showing support still even now uh, I get a comment like here and there but it's good to be back I'm really excited I know I need to throw some frolicking vi videos in there. <laughs> and um, but we'll get to that I, I think me and Chewie are gonna be shooting a little frolic video here pretty soon so those of you that know about the frolicking uh, go to one of my Ren videos and you'll you'll see what I'm talking about but yeah, sorry that this uh, this intro was so long. I just had to let you know, give you guys an update what I was doing, what I've, you know, just update on life and the film and, you know, what my plans are. But for now, I think it's pretty safe to say that you guys are going to be stuck with me for the next couple months up until October. So you got my attention. You got my, uh, you guys got my love. You <laughs> You got everything from me. I'm going to be here. I'm going to be present. And uh, I do apologize for not posting consistently. But I know now that being at 5,000 subs is no easy feat. Um, I'm a smaller channel. So uh, I am very grateful for every single one of you. I'm very grateful. Amy Davies, just want to throw her name out there. You're amazing. She's one of my executive producers. Now that I've met her on um, on YouTube under the comments section, she's taken an interest in our film. And as I said, she's an executive producer now and she's donated so much as well as you guys, which I'm like more than appreciative. We've been able to buy, um, we've been able to buy props. We've been able to buy a little bit of gear here and there. Time for people to drive into town, gas money, rehearsal times, uh, which we, you know, we still have a lot more rehearsing to do. I got to get these characters and these these actors into shape, but they know what they're doing. And I'm very happy to have them on board, my cast and crew. And like I said, my executive producer, Amy Davis, thank you so much for everything you've done so far. And as well as my other donators for the film, I couldn't do it without you. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into some Ren. I'm going to let the whole video play through. Um, normally I do pause the video, but I think this time well, the information that you all have given me, um, my commenters, my viewers about this video and song per se is that it's very, uh, uh, very heartfelt. And so I want to respect Ren and you know just let the whole video play through and just give you my initial thoughts about it i heard it's nothing like too too crazy as far as like the cinematography but that's all good i'm just you know i i'm a big fan of wren's and i hope he's doing well too but anyways we're gonna be listening to for joe as i said we're gonna just let it play through and uh yeah i'll give you guys my my initial thoughts about it here we go Take off from the ground when your wings are cut Your stomach burns when you're drinking from an empty cup You know the entire ocean came from my tear ducts I see the world through Fibonacci sequences and double dutch I guess there's some that's born lucky there's some that's not I tried to cut away my bitterness Hatchet job I locked my youth inside the trunk Inside the pickup truck Then dumped that whole thing over that same bridge The night you jumped I think about that sometimes Vividly What it felt like to look down and see tranquility One sudden movement in a world of possibility Only one movement to expose our fragility 
I fucking miss you And I miss myself I miss thinking we were indestructible as hell I miss chilling by the pier cave And kicking back with Callum Hugo Justin Sega, Stevie and the fucking lads I miss missing that I numb myself to close the gap I never even call them up Distance is my plaster cast To tell the truth The day you jumped my childhood jumped too But I still can't find the anger All I find is missing you Man, I miss you with all my rhymes, I picture running five minutes quicker, I'm right on time I picture pulling you back over the edge and then we're crying And holding you my brother and telling you that it's fine Not the way that it worked, I was late like a jerk There's not a day where I can find a way to break from the hurt Your body missing so we never got to wave to the hearse I hope you're listening, I love you man, I miss you absurd Fuck Another domino it falls Across the way another's born How you're supposed to raise a child And give it courage from a storm In a world that is confusing Contradictions pave our flaws Some will say we're only human Others judge us for our flaws Some get born in sheets of satin Some get by in tattered clothes Some will die before they live That's just how the story goes But for those of us still with us Who reside inside our hearts Tell them proudly how you feel and for those of us who aren't. Freckled angels stand strong. Freckled angels live on. Freckled angels climb higher. Freckled angels still inspire. Freckled angels won't forget you. Teach me to live my life better. 13 years and still I miss you. Now my wings are missing feather. Otherwise I'd come and join you. But for now I'm here on earth. Stuck inside this mortal body. But for everything it's worth. Made me braver, made me wiser, made me stronger, made me true. Made me face the world with courage. And that's all because of you. Oh, man. Oh. Freckled angels laugh the hardest And their hearts, they are the largest With their wings, they fly the farthest So I know you're gonna be okay Freckled angels live the longest and their minds, they are the strongest. Oh, their friends, they are the fondest. So I know you're going to be okay. Ooh, um, hit me, uh, let me, uh, let me catch my breath on that one. When he was, <laughs> when he was hitting his chest, you know, you could, you could hear the, it's not even frustration. It's just like <laughs> me when I've done that, it's like, it's pain. It's releasing a little bit of that pain, you know, just. Whew, man. That was powerful. Damn. Whew. That one hit me pretty hard. It reminds me of my, uh, my best friend. Um, he was like my brother. He, he was killed in 2007 uh, in Afghanistan, and uh, there will never be anybody like him ever again, ever. I'll never have anybody like him ever in my life, and I'm okay with that, you know? But man, that opening, <laughs> um, change the subject real quick, we'll, maybe we'll come back to that. Um, but that opening, 
that he did with the piano. Uh, where have I heard that before? It it sounds um, uh, it's not Ozzy, or maybe it was Ozzy. Not Kiss. Who who did that? Anyways, I'll put it up on the screen if I remember. But it's beautiful, beautiful piano play. The um, the videography. Uh, I know it's just uh, somebody with a gimbal. I have to find out in the in the comments section. Let me know who filmed it. And obviously, we know who's who's behind the music. Ren. Uh, a lot of you that that don't know who Ren is, you need to go check out his channel. Drop him a like, uh, like I'm about to uh, right now. But I wanted to read. Let's see here. Let me. Let me mess with my screen real quick so I can read this. And of course, this is a live performance video. Uh, most of his videos are live one takes or, you know, multiple takes, but he does them in one take and he keeps the best one. So if you guys don't know about that, then you need to check out some of his videos. I, I highly recommend Ren. The dude is versatile. You can't put him in a category. He's just... But why put him in a category, you know? Why put anybody in a category? It, it, it is just what it is, you know? But anyways, we're going to read this uh, description right here. It says here, After Joe died, the visits I paid to North Wales were fleeting. By being somewhere new, I could be someone new. Brighton didn't just offer me a new chapter. It offered me a new book and a whole new character. On Monday, I would make the difficult journey home because of music and the fundraising efforts of my incredible following. We managed to raise an incredible 21000 for for the RNLI, an incredible team of volunteers who risked their lives without pay to aid calls of distress from British shores. The night Joe went missing, they were out on a choppy stretch of water between Anglesey and the mainland until 5 a.m., looking for Joe without pay from the goodness of their hearts. They continued the search efforts for the entire following week until hope dwindled. They owed us nothing and gave us everything. Yesterday, I decided to pay a visit to Joe's mom and dad. I was asked to play them the new live session I recorded in Calgary. It was probably the most nervous I've been playing someone a video that I've made. The topic isn't an easy one, especially for parents who have lost an incredible son. I nervously hit play and the gravity of what I was showing sunk in and I began to cry. In the end, we sat in silence, silently sobbing. Joe's mom turned to me and smiled, and we hugged, and I felt much lighter. It made me really realize, I guess, what I have always known. Music is far more than music. It's a channel of communication for the things that are impossible to say. It's a bridge between the living and the dead. It's a way to stay immortal. It's a way to resurrect the dead. It's a universal language. It cuts down barriers of the parts of which are encapsulated in still cast iron. It allows frozen rivers to thaw and become an unstagnant. I owe myself, my life, everything I am to music. Music is closer to God, I know. I am so grateful to be doing what I do and tap into this music force. My life, my energy, myself, I eternally devote to it. So this was filmed by uh, Samuel Perry Falvey. Amazing job. Amazing words from Ren. I, uh, I've said this like many a times on the channel. I know you guys... Um, probably hear me say this like a thousand times over but you know I, I love every single one of you I I have no I have no enemies I'm not perfect by any means I make mistakes I I've lost loved ones I've lost people who who are still alive but you know things came between us and you know the egos, the just the attitudes, everything in between. 
And if there's one thing I can say is just to forgive more and just and if you can't be around that person or, you know, then, you know, move on. But always try to forgive and just, you know, do what you can do what you can to be there for those that, you know, that do love you and that, you know, show support. And he's right about the whole, you know, that music is a universal language. You know, it's ever since I ran into Ren, ever since you all introduced me to him, I've met so many amazing people, uh, not just with Ren uh, and his fan base, but falling in reverse, um, you know, all kinds of artists, NF, you name it. I've had so many people message me privately and I can't say enough that, um, you know, our time is limited. I don't know what was going through Joe's mind, but I know the feeling of, you know, uh, on my end um, and the things that have held me back and to where, you know, I wanted to end it all at one point in time, but I didn't. And I'm here now and I want to make a difference even just by sharing his music, you know, listening to it and sharing it with some of you that don't know who Ren is and or anybody, any of the artists that I that I show you guys. And I'm happy to do it because it for me, it's like a relief. I have a great time making these reaction videos. I didn't realize I was going to love them so much, but I do. And, you know, I'm just glad that I'm here. I'm very happy um, that you guys are here with me along the ride, the rabbit hole that is Ren or whoever I'm reacting to. And um, man, I almost shed a tear like I did. Actually, I mean, my heart, my heart was racing there towards the end whenever he was beating on his chest. And I, I it took me back to a place where I was, you know, um, where I became vulnerable and I understand that pain but man this is a very this is an amazing video the song the you know Samuel the way that he shot it and of course Ren his, his genius man he um, the dude's a, he's a shining star man he's Glad, I'm glad to, I'm glad to, you know, be here, be alive, to be able to listen to his music. But that's gonna do it for the video. It was good seeing every single one of you again. Comment down below. Um, you know, let's throw some manifestations out there. You know, I know a lot of people aren't in, aren't into that, but I am. I'm a firm believer. If you put it down, maybe not in the comment section, but if you write it down and you put it and you um you you practice what you preach man like i don't know like say like if you're going for that job or you know you want to learn how to play an instrument or just anything it could be anything write it down you know practice it get after it you know and if that, i can say that's one thing that's Ren, ren's music has done for me is um you know hearing his story it it has boosted me to a whole new level of you know things that I never thought I could do that I'm actually doing now. And I'm excited to share with all of you. And if I can help you in some way, man, I'm all for it. All right, guys, take care. God bless. I got some more video, more content on the way. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Take care. See you guys. You win perfect.